Alan, remember when I had the Superman shirt on and I tried to outfish Oh, yeah, it didn't work. Well, look at this. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. A fun fishing, plus you got it on back. Right, yeah, fish on. <laughs> fish can is fine, but catching fish is funner. Oh, Where fish trying to attack. Winter, spring, summer. From Sacramento River. San Francisco Bay, we're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout, halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta, Alan and Warren will help you. Stand like a man, now fish stand like a woman. Get it! Oh no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's on. Alright. Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Woo hoo, baby! Big fish! The swim bait time! <laughs> We're fishing for monster stripers. Welcome to Fun Fishing, I'm Warren Trumbly. Hi, I'm Alan Fong, and we're going to show you guys something a little different today. We're in the studio, and what are we going to be doing, Alan? And we're going to be showing our viewers actually how to catch big fish. Mm -hmm. Fish of a lifetime. You know, I'm not talking about small. A big fish. Uh -huh. Fish wildlife. Big one. Trophy fish. Trophy fish. Uh -huh. and what are we going to be using? Um, to we're going to be doing a lot of throwing big swim baits. Okay, and what kind of fish are we going to be fishing for? Um, we'll be going after stripers and black bass. And, um, stripers and black bass. Yeah, both species. And mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to catch big fish using big baits. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer that those big fish feed on big fish. They okay. don't. They're more lazier, they're opportunists, mm -hmm. and they eat big stuff. They don't eat little things. And in the past couple of years, with all these new big swim baits coming on the market, you know, which we're going to demonstrate for our viewers, mm -hmm. that I catch a lot of big fish on these things. This has really taken up my catch ratio on big fish way up. Okay, if they're, they're out there, how come I don't catch any of those big fish? Um, they look at you and run away. They're smarter than you. <laughs> you know, you, you've actually done pretty good. You've caught some big fish with me, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's like being in the right place and having the right bait on. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you know, it, the opportunity is out there, and I want to show people how to do it. Mm -hmm. Put the clip on while we were down yeah. in the Delta. All right. Stripers. Let's take a look at that. And, and what we're doing up here, we pulled up to this flat alongside a wheat bed, and we're mm -hmm. throwing the big swim bait. Yeah. And I think it was, like, probably on my, like, second or third cast, this... Striper came up and ate that thing. Mm -hmm. But we're just fishing up where the current was pushing into the weeds, mm -hmm. throwing these big baits. And those fish are actually up there feeding on those rainbow trout that you know the fishing game is letting go. Okay. As you see, we're you know they, you just don't bring these things. You got to have a heavy rod. Got a big that. That's a big rod. And those mm -hmm. fish pull. You know we're using 25 pound tests. All right. And, and we're using these big swim baits. Well, you're going to get him out of the water here in a second. He's holding the net out of the water. You don't even know how to hold a net. See? You could have knocked him off. You're supposed to play him out before <laughs> you <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a nice uh, fish. Right yeah, it really is. And, you know, you can you target these bigger fish by using bigger baits. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer that you could catch them on the smaller 5-inch fish traps and stuff, mm -hmm. but we were throwing, you know, 8 and 10-inch baits that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Alan, that's a, that's a big striper there. It's not okay. real big, but it's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about uh, the fish trap, which we've used in the past. We catch some big fish oh, yeah. with that. I've caught 40 pounders on those. Okay, but the, the ones you're talking about how, are big. Are those, those are the bigger ones. They're actually a little bigger. Mm -hmm. They're about 8, 10. You can tell they're a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can almost you eat can it. eat yours. But <laughs> okay. these are the. These are the size baits mm -hmm. that you want to throw for stripers and bass. Okay. And this is probably about on the average size, and I use them a lot bigger than this, too. Okay. Now, now this is a, a type of bait. This is What's the name this, of this? This one is rubber. This is a Huddleson. Okay. 
There's a reaction. There's quite a few brands out there that make okay. them, and those are 8-inch. You've got some others here, too. Okay. These are actually, that one is plastic. Mm -hmm. And these are actually wood or, okay. or a resin material. Mm -hmm. And these are awesome baits, too. Mm -hmm. They, you know, when you're talking about these baits, now they're not cheap. That's the mm -hmm. only downfall. Okay. You know, you're looking at... 25 is high up to us 100 bucks. Okay. Now, this one here I recognize because you caught fish on it. I caught a fish on this one yeah. here. Can that's you believe a, that? That's a spro. It's a spro. And, and this one's a triple trout. This yes. is the one uh, that I caught my 28 pounder on. Okay. Just to. Well, that one's not very good. It's got, it's all marked up there. Those are teeth marks. <laughs> teeth marks. Okay. This guy caught me uh, in one day at a 28, a 16, a 14, and four between 8 and 10 on mm -hmm. this particular bait here. Okay. And they make, one of the things about swim baits, you know, we're going to show you guys mm -hmm. a little bit about them, is that they make floaters, mm -hmm. so slow sinkers, and fast sinkers. Mm -hmm. So actually there's three different types of bait in this one model, yeah. in this model, and in this model. They the all look the same, mm -hmm. but they work different. Yeah, the one I seem to get is the, called the stinker. <laughs> I just can't get a fish. <laughs> you got to learn how to move it. <laughs> I guess so. But I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about that, you know, when we go out and show the guys how to do them. You got to have the right equipment. You can't just go out there with any old rod. You got to have the right equipment when you go out with these. Uh, which one? Uh, the uh, Spro. All right. Your lure is bigger than the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Keeper. Yeah. Get <laughs> a keeper. Oh. Well, now i got to figure out how to get him off. <laughs> okay, another oh. one of the type of baits I use is actually a wake bait. A wake bait. And what is a wake bait? Uh, wake baits are used to fish on the surface mm -hmm. where it'll just kind of just wobble along the top, cause a lot of commotion. A lot of air bubbles on the surface, and it draws a lot of strikes. Okay, and the, bass yeah. and stripers. Okay. The other ones fish below the below surface. Below the surface. Okay. So all these baits that we're showing you, you can buy it as a floater, mm -hmm. as a slow sinker, or a fast sinker. Okay. So it's a different level of depth where you're fishing. Yeah. Or I just get the stinker bait. Yeah, I give you the one that works <laughs> the best. Well, after the commercial break, let's uh, take a look at these. Out yeah, on the we'll water. go out in the water and show you how these work. We'll be back with more fun fishing right after this. The net? Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <What's> the... <laughs> That's a nice fish. Yeah. We're in the studio and we're going to show you how to catch a fish of your lifetime. Fish. 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 A big fish. Uh -huh. Fish wildlife. Big one. Trophy fish. So worn on mm -hmm. the stripers. Uh huh. I say the best time of the year is to fish is. Fall, winter, to early spring. Okay. That's when I usually get the big stripers. Usually when that water temperature gets in the 48 to 51, that's mm -hmm. prime time for big mm -hmm. stripers. Yeah. You've got some pictures here of, yeah. of stuff you've taken earlier. Mm -hmm. but Actually, the, that one was caught just uh, a couple weeks ago, and I caught mm -hmm. that one on this big triple trout right here. It's a 10-inch okay. bait, mm -hmm. and he just ate it. Yeah. In that particular day, and, I had some big fish. And, and that was mid-February? Yeah, okay. mid-February. And, and you wouldn't take us out with the camera so we could really see no, it, No, I could you? took you the day after. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> and, and then, what, here's some more. Yeah, those the same day. Same day? Yeah, that was a 16 and a 14. And, and how big was this, this other fish? Uh, we were judging around 28, 30. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Warren, you, mm -hmm. you're going to hear me talk a lot about big, big, big fish because... Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it through everybody's head. Big bait, big fish. Okay, and, and then we we went on to uh, the lakes, uh, mm -hmm. Pardee yeah. last year. Yes, we did. And we caught some yep. big black bass. We caught bass. some nice fish. I mean, you know, too bad you didn't know how to set the hook a little harder. Oh, come on. <laughs> you would have had some nice ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, he got more bites than I did. He had some big fish, and he didn't set the hook hard uh. enough. Black bass, yeah. these things work daily on blacks. That's black. what these lures were designed for. Oh, they were? They weren't designed for striped bass? No, mostly mm -hmm. black bass. Okay. And, you know, this down there again, mm -hmm. last week, I had a 38-pound bag for five bass. Oh, my gosh. And then here's another one. Yeah, this is all the same day. Wow. I was down there last week. Mm-hmm. 
And these fish feed on big fish. They don't eat little things. They like to eat big mm -hmm. baits. Okay. You know, they're opportunists, like I keep okay. telling you. Mm -hmm. They only want to eat once. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. That's yeah, those are some nice fish. Those, those are really good looking fish. Yeah. Yeah. So it just shows you what can mm -hmm. be caught with yeah. big baits. Well, you look different with your shirt oh, off yeah. here, Alan. That was actually at party the day after we shot the show. Um, we caught 11 and a half, a 10, 13, an 8, 12, and oh. one over six all on the same point in like 10 casts. Oh, man. It's unbelievable. Okay. Big baits, mm -hmm. big fish. Big baits, big fish. They don't eat little crawdads. And, you know, they might when they're starving dip, but they feed on big baits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. There's a swim bait fish. And you can do it anywhere. I do it on a delta. I do it on lakes. I do it mm -hmm. everywhere. Okay. Oh, that's a fish. That's what we've been looking for. It's a new man. Yeah. About how much? It's about seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half, eight pounds. There we go. All right, one. There he goes. You see that <laughs> buoy in the back, right above the motor? Uh huh. So we're actually fishing the slow tapered point mm -hmm. off that island top underwater where you caught that fish. Yeah. And that was about an eight-pounder, mm -hmm. and he ate a Huddleston, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm taking my time getting a net. Yeah, you're just... <laughs> Very few times you ever see me with a net, but it'll be with swim baits, uh -huh. mainly because the swim baits cost so much, I don't want to break my line <laughs> when I flip them in. Okay. But, yeah, these are, uh, you know, big rods, come mm -hmm. pick that rod, you're just almost... A, yeah. And you just about drag the fish in, you know, otherwise mm -hmm. they'll come off. Mm -hmm. There's a nice fish, and he was caught sitting off the edge of that island top, mm -hmm. probably in about 10, 15 feet of water. Yeah. Well, and, and what you didn't tell me was that when you hook a big fish like that, you keep the tip of the rod down. <laughs> I found out that later from someone else. Yeah, when you set hook on these fish, mm -hmm. I put the rod tip in the water and crank. Okay. And that's how you get them in. And why is that? Because the lure, they're so heavy mm -hmm. that when you hook them on the outside or just hardly in the mouth and they swing, they mm -hmm. jump. That weight of six ounces just knocks the hook right out. But and sure makes, lose them. makes for good pictures, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and I don't want to tell you everything. <laughs> okay. And uh, and here we yeah. have, we have a, we have another one, and uh, and, and that's a nice size fish. Yeah, it is it's nice. Big. I catch mm -hmm. two pounders on those ten inch swim baits. Wow. Yeah, some of them are even the same size as a swim bait. It's amazing <laughs> what they'll go after. Mm-hmm. And using swim baits, you know. I've, Learned a lot in the past couple of years is that when you got a ripple on the water, see how the water has wind waves? Yes. The mm -hmm. fishing is better because it breaks up the surface when the fish look up. Okay. Ninety percent of the time when these mm -hmm. fish come up, whether stripers or bass, mm -hmm. they're coming upwards mm -hmm. after. Yeah, and, and right here on this one, I can see you can see the ripples on the water. Yeah. You can see uh, people coming back and watching you shoot the show. Yeah. The time to fish for, for black bass, is that the same spring. time? Spring. In the, the springtime? It's in the spring. When we get like 70 degree weather for mm -hmm. a week, water temperature warms up in the 54, 56, mm -hmm. it's time. Well, when we uh, come back, let's uh, take a look at how these yeah. swim baits work on the water. Yeah, we'll show you in the water exactly how they work, and you know, I'll mm -hmm. talk about it and show you how to do it. Welcome back to Fun Fishing. And, Alan, we've got uh, <coughs> yeah, we're gonna, here. What? This, this is a wake bait. This is a AC Minnows 9 inch, mm -hmm. and this is a wake bait. This one I would use, you know, like we have a little ripple on the water and, mm -hmm. and the fish are blasting stuff on the surface. Uh -huh. And this is the guy you want to throw. And this okay. is a wake bait. Make sure the reel is a slow gear ratio. The slower okay. the better. So if you got a 3 8 or a 5 to 1, mm -hmm. those are ideal reels to use. Okay. And we'll throw this out and they float. Okay. And you're going to just Hold the rod. I like to hold the rod at probably about nine o'clock and mm -hmm. just turn the handle real slow till you get a wake behind that bait. That's why they call it a wake bait. See the wake behind it? This one's actually very reasonable. It's only like twenty-five dollars. Okay. This is a new one that came out. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I can't wait to try it. Looks like it's upside down. It's okay. actually a, a Daiwa, hmm. and it's got a propeller on the back, a buzz bait blade on there that causes commotion because it's on the surface. Looks goofy, huh? It does. It's, and it's, it's curved. It's curved, yes. And this guy is a wake bait, so it's going to be up on the surface. Okay, let's throw it out, and you can see. 
Mm -hmm. Throw it out. It's going to float. And slow retreat. Looks like a dead fish on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock. Now watch uh -huh. that prop. See it throwing that commotion? And plus it has a little flash to it. Uh -huh. This slow reeling. Makes noise. Makes like a spluttering noise. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. The way it rocks because that body actually mm -hmm. goes side it Looks like an injured fish, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure does. Wow. But this one's uh, made by Daiwa. It's a new Daiwa. Yep. It's called Dead or Alive. I'm going to have to get one. All right. They're hard to get. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I know where there's one right now. Yeah. <laughs> see what else we got. Mm -hmm. Poor wig bait. This okay. is a new one. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the most real looking ones on the market. Mm -hmm. This one I could do tricks with. Okay. Those two you saw us first use, mm -hmm. you just stole it out and reel it in. It just goes across the top. This guy, I can make it go sideways, mm -hmm. turn around, face the other direction. So if you have a Stand fish, up, sing, and dance? Yeah. If you have right. a fish following this thing mm -hmm. and you see them and you turn around and the thing looks at the fish when it's coming, boom, it draws a strike. It does? Yep. Okay. And I didn't want to tell you that when we were out there the other day. <laughs> but this is a spro. Mm hmm okay. Let's watch this one. I'll throw it out in the tank and you'll see it. So okay. here we go. Throw it out. It's a floater. Mm -hmm. It's a wake bait. But watch it now. I'm going to bring it in. Now watch it. It'll turn around. Ooh, turn around. <laughs> look right back at the fish. You see him turn around? Uh-huh. You can do all kinds of tricks with this guy. So you can make it swim, waddle back and forth, pop the tip, and that thing will just turn around and make a mm -hmm. about face. And turn around and look at the fish, mm -hmm. which will draw you a strike. Nine o'clock when you're bringing in your wake bait. So mm -hmm. my rod's almost parallel. And mm -hmm. then what I'm doing is when I want it to turn, I'll lower my tip and jerk and reel at the same time and throw my tip forward. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually popping it and throwing the tip forward, mm -hmm. and that'll cause that bait to turn around and spin. They all don't do that. Okay. Like the first two that we showed, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Only the ones that have multiple joints in them. And here again, it has that wobbling action, that wake, wake bait. Welcome back to Fun Fishing. This is a wake bait. So those are the wake baits. Those, those are the, the top water. Surface fishing mm -hmm. lures. Okay. And then mm -hmm. we're going to go to a subsurface, which would be like this guy here, which mm -hmm. is the guy that caught me all those big fish in the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, the 16-pounder, when he hit it, see, these fish all come from underneath when they hit it. Mm -hmm. It actually jumped, and I didn't feel it because it was so windy. I had so much ball in my line mm -hmm. that I didn't even know he was on there. And I saw him <laughs> jump, and I go, shoot, that's a big fish on somebody's line. And then I felt him, and I go, oh, man, <laughs> that was really dumb. So this bait, mm -hmm. here we go. We're throwing it out. The lure's going to hit the water. Remember, one one thousand, two two thousand, and it goes down. This particular bait here, the mm -hmm. subsurface, I can make it turn around too by doing it the same way. So twitch the tip, throw it forward, mm -hmm. and you just slowly retrieve. Five to one gear ratio reel, and you just reel it real slow. And as you see, this thing has really good side to side movement. It's a slow sinker, so it's going to be, you can fish it on the top. By holding your rod up, or you can let it fall and go down. Mm -hmm. So that one turns around because it's jointed. It's turned around because it's jointed. Okay. Then, this is a plastic one. All the other ones we were throwing were hard baits. This mm -hmm. is a plastic one. This is a, a soft plastic. Soft plastic. Yeah. About six to ten ounces. Mm -hmm. And this one sinks like a rock. So we're going to throw it out. And this one here, mm -hmm. it has a real, you just turn the handle as slow as you can turn it. And you can hardly see the tail wiggle. Mm -hmm. But this one is a dynamite bait. And that's your speed. It's hard to do, because it's actually like not mm -hmm. reeling at all. You just turn it real slow. See how fast I'm going? Mm -hmm. That's how fast you want to go. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's important to use the right equipment so you don't get tired and yeah. you can land the fish. So I hope you learned something. You know, we tried to show you a lot this time coming mm -hmm. in the studio. We mm -hmm. can show you up personal. Mm -hmm. so I hope you learned something. And come back and see us next week on Fun, Fun Fishing. Fishing. Fun Fishing. Fishing is fun, but catching fish is funner. Turn. Whether it's autumn, winter, spring, or summer, from Sacramento River to the
San Francisco Bay. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. Salmon, bass, or trout. Halibut is what it's all about. Stripers on the Delta. Alan and Warren will help you. <laughs> Our camera guy was out fishing the other day, and he fell out of the boat. He couldn't get back in. The best way to do it is swim back to the back of the boat. Okay. Put your feet on there. Hit that trim button right here. Right here. Trim it up. Whoa. There you go. Climb in. That's how you get back in the boat if you ever had to. Now, if wow. you could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Use your motor, trim it back up, and you just climb right in. Alan! Alan, wait for me! Hey! Fishing, it's fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.